Hi guys, happy Friday. Today I'm going to share my version of mashed potatoes with you guys. And this is the way I've been making it for a long time and it's so creamy and rich and it's heavenly. So I just thought you guys would love it. And I'm sorry this is going to be a short video, I know my previous video was short as well. But I'll be putting up some nice videos for you guys soon, so just wait for it. So if you guys want to see how I do this, then keep watching. So here are my ingredients for the mashed potatoes. And you don't have to follow exactly what I do. You can substitute any of the ingredients for whatever you want to use or you can omit it completely. So I boiled some potatoes until it was really nice and soft throughout. You want it to be soft enough so that when we're mashing it, it's going to mash really easily. I also have some butter, some ground garlic, chopped celery leaves, some cream cheese. I know this is probably weird for you but I love to put cream cheese in my mashed potatoes because it gives it a really nice creamy texture. And the one I'm using actually has chives and onions and don't get mistaken for this chive. This chive is not the scythe that we get back home. Scythe that we get back home is actually green onions or scallion. This scythe is a different herb. It's actually very thin, way thinner than the scythe we would get back home. So you can use plain cream cheese if you want. I like to use the Philadelphia brand. You can use whatever brand you have. I have some milk here as well, full cream milk or stay fresh milk and some salt, black pepper and a potato masher. So the first thing I'm going to add is a little bit of salt. Don't add too much as yet, we'll add and then taste it at the end to see if it needs any more. Add some black pepper as well and I like to use freshly ground black pepper. If you have the powdered one already, then by all means you can use that. But I love the taste of the fresh black pepper. Now you want to go ahead and add your butter in. And make sure that when you make this mashed potatoes, the potatoes are still warm. So that when you add the butter, it's just going to melt in there. All the heat from the potatoes is going to just melt that butter and it's going to incorporate into all the potatoes. Now take your masher and mash the potatoes until they're all nice and mushed up and they're all broken down. So once you've mashed all those potatoes, we're gonna add our milk in. And now you just wanna grab a whisk. Cause at this point I like to use my whisk to kinda incorporate the milk in there. Add half of the milk for now and take your whisk and just kind of try to blend the milk into the potato. Now you can add the other half and add the cream cheese as well. And whisk that in again and you'll notice it'll start to become really nice and creamy and rich just how I like it because the whisk really works everything into the potato and it makes it really nice and creamy and fluffy now once you've mixed everything now you want to go ahead and just add your garlic and also add your celery at this point so now once everything's mixed in nicely to the potato you can switch over to your spoon now and just give that a good mix and at this point you also just want to taste it for salt or black pepper or anything else that you think that it might need and that's it guys, it was so simple to make. So I hope you guys enjoyed this recipe. Leave me your comments below. If you haven't subscribed, subscribe to see all my latest videos. And I will see you guys in my next one. Bye!